Hey, hey, hey! Well, I'm walking down the street. Uh, I guess uh, my damn therapist ain't in today. What if I was having a, a panic attack and a manic episode or something and went schizophrenic on somebody? Fuck, man. Well, boy, look at all the views I get over the period of time that I put out mine, and you know, they say no one's listening. Well, you know that's a lie, don't we? A sleuth intuition. Your intuition is that of a sleuth. And bruiser. I don't know if you're a dick or if you're related to Dick the Bruiser because Dick the Bruiser's uh, from Delphi, Indiana, the old wrestler. Um, they used to fight uh, Bruiser Brody and uh, the, uh, Von Erichs, all them, and, and uh, uh, Ric Flair. But yeah, well, maybe not Ric Flair, but Nancy, where are you? Come pick me up. I'm walking. I'm not going to tell anybody where I'm walking, but I ain't scared. I just ain't stupid, you know. I, I, uh, I'm watching my ass. I, I ain't scared of nothing. I'm just leery, you know. You got to watch your ass, or you got to watch your... Uh, those around you. I ain't gonna show you where I'm at. Ha ha. I don't let nobody know nothing. There ain't nobody knows where I live. I mean, somebody let something slip one day, but <laughs> it's all right, you know. Let somebody motherfucking mess with me. <laughs> Would not be a good idea. <laughs> those of you that have felt the wrath of Harmonator <laughs> right in the kisser. Well, well, I love bright sunny days. I used to be out in this. Now I don't even like to be outside, you know, after being homeless. It was like, man, fuck. Uh, You've been out for so long. I'm getting ready to come out with a homeless one-on-one, 101 of how you can be homeless and um, uh, the things about how to survive and daily life and being homeless and what the community and how people perceive you to be. What usually um, drives someone that feels like they have nothing and no one and uh, there's no resources to turn to that can help you uh, get off the street. It's like, it's meant for you to, to fail with a lot of these rehabs and um, with uh, housing and, and funds given to uh, the state and the cities for homeless people and stuff. You know, I was homeless for 13 years, you know, and did they come out and fucking try to get me off the street? Sorry, ladies. How are you? God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> she didn't know what I said. She... But, you know, it's like, um, you go to some, some of these rehabs and it's like AA. They say, okay, when you go in there, it's like... <laughs> They sit there and they say, uh, hi, I'm a Bob and I'm an alcoholic or I'm an, I'm an addict. No, you choose every day what you're going to be. I don't like being held at that standard of, okay, I'm always going to be an alcoholic or a drug addict or an, have an addiction. We all have addictions. Our addictions come from what makes us have a tick or a fidget or a nervous habit and those nervous habits start to over time seep in and so at times you might be feeling sad but at the other 
end of it you don't understand what you're feeling because whatever it derived from or how it made you feel at the time of whatever traumatic thing in your life or something that happened or occurrence that you saw that changed the outlook of your life you know it's like um, those things form um, measures that you use to cope and deal with those daily things uh, that in your life and happened to you as a kid that pushed you into drugs or alcohol or some other addiction you know I mean you gotta go back before you can go forward and look at what happened in the past what was going on at the time of when you was born your family history what they was like what they went through you know you, unless you just don't give a fuck about where you came from and what the fuck happened and <laughs> you're just like fuck it I don't give a fuck you know it, it is what it is no bullshit there ain't nothing just is what it is with me and if it is i want to find out why it is the way it is and all that you don't have a cigarette would you buddy I don't. okay thanks man no truck broke down yeah yeah i'll talk to you guys in a minute i gotta help somebody with the truck